Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video we are going to have a look at Moz. Moz is an SEO tool and earlier it was called SEO Moz and now they have changed to Moz.com. So this is a premium SEO tool and uh, you can go ahead and try Moz Pro for free for one month. And I have also signed up for a one month trial because right now I am using Ahrefs which we have discussed in a previous video. And this particular tool costs around $179 a month, which is not cheap. But if you are very serious about your site's SEO and if you are investing a lot on content and other things, this might make sense to you. So in this video, I will log in into my dashboard and show you what are the features available in Moz Pro. So this is the login dashboard of Moz Pro. And you can see I just signed up for a free trial and it says 30 days left. So here you can go ahead and create campaigns. So with the basic account, you get 10 campaigns. And right now I have created one campaign, which is Digital Deepak, my own blog. And here you can see domain authority is 42%. And if I go ahead and click on this, I will be able to see more details inside the campaign. So here you can see these are the competitor sites I have added and these are the total external links I have, which is not bad. I have gained 7,459 external links so far. And according to Moz, I have a domain authority of 42. And these are the uh, domain authorities of my competitors. And here you can see uh, there are rankings. I can go ahead and analyze a keyword. So let's say, best online digital marketing courses and I am searching for it. So whenever I am publishing a new article, I can go ahead and analyze the keyword. So let's say learn digital marketing, which is a much better keyword. So I can go ahead and search for it and I can see what is the difficulty of ranking a particular keyword. So let's uh, search for some other keyword here. or I will just search for digital marketing. So here uh, you will be able to see, let's say digital marketing course, and this is going to be India specific. That's why it says national. So here you can see what is the search volume for this keyword and how difficult it is to rank for this keyword. And it also gives you a SERP analysis. So it shows you all the different websites that are ranking for this particular keyword. And this is a pretty competitive keyword. A lot of people are selling digital marketing courses. So there is a section called uh, page optimization. And in this section, you can give a URL and you can give a keyword and then you can uh, go ahead and check what is the page optimization score and how uh, this particular page is going to rank for this particular keyword. So here I put digital marketing and I put my web page digital Deepak and it says uh, it has found 30 keywords and uh, 23 factors are helping and four factors might be hurting and the page score is 86. So here uh, I have to remove some keywords because the digital marketing keyword uh, might be repeated too much and uh, I can add the keywords in the URL, but right now Digital Deepak does not have uh, keywords. Optimal use of keywords in header tags and keywords in image alt attribute or the suggestions that I can go ahead and implement. So content suggestions that might help you rank higher. Like for example, these are the other uh, content keywords that might help me rank better. So digital marketing strategies, so right now for digital marketing strategies, you can see there is a bunch of uh, other websites ranking for this particular keyword. And what I can do is that I can go ahead and write articles about digital marketing strategies. And uh, that is going to probably rank better uh, for the site structure that I have. So that is page optimization. Uh, then we have uh, site crawl. So Moz has a crawler just like Google has a crawler and Moz goes ahead and crawls the entire website and brings up issues. So here you can see there is a bunch of issue with uh, 
you know no index so basically this is with my subdomain learn.digitaldeepak.com and this entire site is no index because it contains my courses and i don't want it to be ranked and you can see the other pages which are in no index or category pages so i don't want the category or the tag pages to be ranked either so that's why it's no index uh, and uh, if you go ahead and uh, look at all crawled pages it will show you if there are any other errors so there are a lot of pages which have uh, moved permanently and uh, right now it is being redirected to some other website and uh, you can also see that if i have affiliate links then that is also uh, something that will be redirected so here uh, the purpose of this report is to just to make sure that if you have any real content pages those content pages should not be redirected or it should not have a 404 error or any such error so that is something that you can find within this section and uh, you can go ahead and uh, figure out uh, what are the pages you might want to unlink so here you can see uh, this is one page that is probably in the index but uh, the page does not exist this is something i might have to correct then we have some crawler warnings uh, redirect issues so here you can see uh, redirect issues are the ones which are uh, my affiliate links so obviously this will be redirected nothing to be worried about um, you have metadata issues so if there is any missing metadata it will show it up here and if there are any content issues uh, it will show up here so here uh, it does say that there are a bunch of uh, pages with content issues like for example these are subdomain pages and uh, these are the landing pages that i have and here uh, there are missing h1 tags uh, missing or invalid h1 which is fine because this is not my blog page uh, rather uh, landing page for my sales page so this might not have h1 tags another interesting feature of moz is the link explorer and here you can see inbound links so inbound links give you an idea about where the links are coming from and this is obviously picked up by the moz crawler so i have been able to find out some inbound links to my site which uh, i have not seen in other tools such as ahrefs so moz is definitely better in picking out inbound links and here you can see i have uh, been able to see some uh, inbound links from very uh, authoritative websites like vox.com and uh, if i go to vox.com it says the uh, anchor text is more effective so let's go and search for more effective so here you can see uh, they have written facebook often raises its ad prices as they become more effective and uh, let's see what they have linked to so they have linked to this article where i have uh, mentioned why does your facebook cost increase over time and this is one uh, well researched article that i had published and uh, it explains why facebook ads cost keeps increasing and a yep, publication like vox has linked to that uh, which is a very good thing so which is a very clear indication that if you publish good content then good content will earn links naturally so that's what is happening here and uh, you can see entrepreneur.com so these are the uh, pages where i have published a guest post so again entrepreneur.com is a very reputed publication so and here you can see uh, in this article there is a link back to my blog uh, which is my home page and if i click on this it goes to digitaldeepak.com so all this is helping in my seo i should probably publish more articles on entrepreneur and uh, here you can see uh, your story uh, digital deepak uh, my site map and uh, youtube video tutorial so these are no follow links and uh, then you have tiny url and then you have medium so let's figure out what we have here in medium so somebody seems to have published a list of digital marketing experts in india and uh, they have linked to my blog here uh, deepak kanagraju here as well so these are the inbound links that i have been able to pick out uh, by uh, looking at uh, uh, the link explorer and what i can do is that i can go ahead and create another campaign for my competitors and find out where the inbound links for my competitors are coming from and try to go ahead and replicate the same inbound links uh, through 
finding out what my competitors are getting. So that is another uh, way to use the inbound links thing. Uh, the linking domain section gives you all the domain names that are linking to you. You can see box.com, ted.com, Quora Entrepreneur and uh, all the big websites are linking to me. And this has been through uh, years and years of going ahead and uh, creating uh, good content, earning backlinks over time. So the site is almost uh, five to six years old right now. And that is why all these links has been uh, gained. So here you can see anchor text. So what are people uh, anchoring the text with? And here you can see there are some shady uh, anchor text as well, which uh, probably someone did it to hurt my business, but I have disavowed those links and removed those uh, links from uh, the possibility of affecting my search. And uh, this looks like spam and any popular website will start getting some spam links and you have to go ahead and disavow the links. So disavow is something that you tell Google that please don't consider these links while trying to gauge the authority of my website. So there is also a section called spam score. So uh, if uh, the links that I'm getting from uh, websites, if it is very shady links, then the spam score will, will increase. So it is a good idea to have an uh, eye on the spam score. So these are the major uh, features of Moz. And then you have site traffic, which has not started populating yet. So this you will get from Google Analytics import and uh, then you have insights and then you have custom reports, campaign settings. So these are the major options available in Moz. Obviously uh, there are too many things to cover. I will not go into everything, but I will go over the important areas. So one more area is keyword research. So they have a tool called keyword explorer and uh, let's say I enter digital marketing courses as the keyword and I will go ahead and select India from here and search for it. So here it will show me uh, the keyword difficulty, the organic CTR, the priority, and it will show me the SERP analysis. What are the top websites that are ranking for this particular keyword? And you can see digital marketing courses online, digital marketing courses near me, uh, in Bangalore, in Mumbai, these are the different keyword suggestions that I have based on the seed keyword, which is digital marketing courses. So I can go ahead and uh, take these uh, keywords and go ahead and publish uh, articles for it. And I can go ahead and rank for it. So digital marketing jobs is one major keyword, Google digital marketing course, online marketing courses with certificates. So these are the different keywords I can go ahead and write articles for and this is probably going to help me increase the search traffic. So you have a proper uh, keyword research tool inside Moz. So you don't need to go ahead and buy or subscribe for a separate keyword research tool. So then you have a section called uh, link explorer. So I will go ahead and enter digitaldeepak.com and figure out uh, how many inbound links I have, how many different linking domain names I have and how many keywords I'm ranking for. So I'm ranking for 1.6K keywords. And if I click on that, then it shows me what are the different keywords that I am ranking number one for. So these are all the keywords that I'm uh, ranking number one for. And uh, this is very interesting to see because uh, a lot of keywords I never knew that I was ranking first. Like for example, uh, you can see digital marketing courses in Ahmedabad. So for this, I seem to be ranking number two and you can see I am ranking here and let's go ahead and check top 10 digital marketing firms in Bangalore. So this is also an article I wrote about uh, top digital marketing agencies in Bangalore and you can see that uh, there is an article here as well for that. So there is a lot of uh, content opportunities uh, by looking at this and I can go ahead and uh, figure out how to leverage this based on the keywords that I am already ranking for well. And this is data that you will not uh, get easily from some other source. So Moz does a really good job of getting your ranking report and figuring out for uh, which keywords that you are ranking very well. So right now it looks like I'm able to see only United States data. I am not able to see uh, Indian data, but uh, the difference will not be much. 
so if i go ahead and enter a keyword of my competitor and uh, search for it i can see what are the keywords that uh, he is ranking for so number of facebook users in chennai apparently he is ranking number one for that and here you can see uh, growing facebook users in tamil nadu he has published an infographic and he is ranking for that so uh, google tag manager course best institute uh, for digital marketing in mumbai he is ranking number one for that as well uh, and a uh, lot of other keywords which are best digital marketing institutes in so and so city so here i can go ahead and uh, get some keyword ideas from this as well i can also go ahead and explore by keyword so if i go ahead and explore by keyword then uh, i will enter my keyword here so let's say digital marketing courses bangalore and search for it so here you will be able to see uh, i can get keyword suggestions i can get the serp analysis find out uh, who are the people who are uh, ranking top for this particular keyword and uh, here uh, i can go ahead and have specific keyword suggestions for this particular keyword and uh, these are the keywords i can include in my article to try to rank for all the possible uh, different keyword combinations so i can publish one article and go ahead and rank for all the uh, keyword combinations that are available so then uh, you have link research uh, link research is basically a uh, link explorer you can see uh, i can figure out uh, discovered and lost linking domains metrics over time uh, what are the top followed links so what are the top do follow links i have got what are the top pages on the site what are the top anchor text that i am being linked to and uh, linking domains by da so i have 11 linking domains with da of 9100 81 to 99 linking domains 71 to 86 linking domains and uh, this is how the pattern is and the higher the domain authority that is linking to you the better it is so here uh, you can check a um, bunch of other things top pages discovered and lost which we have already had a look at uh, there is also something called rank checker so you can put a particular keyword let's say digital marketing experts and put the url and it will track what is your ranking and uh, it will tell you what is the difficulty and it will tell you when it was last checked so if you have a bunch of keywords which you are tracking the rank for let's say digital marketing companies in bangalore and i want to check for digitaldeepak.com so i can put the country here as india put digitaldeepak.com and click on search and this is something that i can add here and over time instead of going to google and checking what i am ranking for repeatedly i can just use mos to track my keyword uh, rankings over time and uh, here you can see uh, there are 198 out of 200 queries available tomorrow so only uh, 200 queries per day are allowed so here you can see uh, i am ranking number 7 for this and uh, this is the keyword difficulty and this is the last check so this is something that i can track over time i can go ahead and ask mos to go ahead and crawl my website uh, which is called on demand crawl and then uh, there is something called on page grader so if i put a page and if i put a keyword then it will show me what are the on page uh, seo things that i can do to improve ranking of that particular page so this particular video is just an overview of the mos tool and i hope it has given you an idea about what moz pro is and what you can do with this tool uh, if you want a deep dive into all these tools and if you want a deep dive into all the technical aspects of seo then i recommend you go ahead and check out my seo mastery course in which we have covered extensively on how to uh, go ahead and use these tools and we also show you how to use these tools in live campaigns that we are doing for our clients and uh, we go ahead and explain how to publish articles create content and get them to rank with live case studies so that's about it for this video if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye bye